I've got three fragrances here from City Rhythm. Let's talk about them. What's up guys, it's the Middle Eastern Fragrance King, AKA Neeb with Aromatics. Today's video is gonna be covering City Rhythm fragrances. I've got three fragrances here. We have a Decanters of Miami and Manhattan. So basically what we're gonna do is the first impressions. Before we get into the first impressions, let's take a look at their website. As you can see, Niles Ramadin is the CEO and he is also the creative director. We've got very, very well-renowned fragrances in the fragrance community. If you're involved in the fragrance community, then you've heard about City Rhythm once or twice. All their prices are not too bad. One of the newest releases, which is Tempo, you can get a 10 ml for $30 or a 50 ml for 105. Now this is an indie styled niche house. So keep in mind that these fragrances are not a dime a dozen and therefore require a little bit more of a premium price point. So let's get back into what these fragrances are like. I've got this wrapping off. And the first one that I want to talk about is actually Tempo. Since I have that here in this decanter, let's see what Tempo is all about. Here we go, y'all. All right. Okay, so in tempo, there are notes of pear, bergamot, and sugar at the top. Then we've got Tonka, Lily of the Valley, Incense. And we have Pine, Ambergris, Oak Moss, Vetiver, and Vanilla. This smells really, really nice. This smells like something in the category of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramol. That's the first thing that popped into my mind. But even though it's in that family, this is something new. It's something new, but I feel like this is gonna be a projector. Is it the pear? Yes, it is. It's the pear here that gives me the resemblance to that Ultramol DNA, but completely different. Mind you, there is a familiar vibe to that fragrance, but much different. This is more grown up. There's something in here that's a little bit richer. The oak moss and sugar is really nice. This adds a little bit of a dirtiness to it, and I don't mean it in the sense of hygiene. I mean it in a sexual way. This is like a grown up version of Ultramol. This is a sexier Ultramol, for sure. That's what I'm getting with this. That sugar note at the top, blended with the oak moss and that pear is gorgeous. There's a right amount of Tonka, not too much Lily of the Valley, and that incense, not too smoky with the incense. Gorgeous. Gorgeous fragrance. No cat piss vibes from the vetiver. Ambergris just enough. This has a nice lift. This is a really nice fragrance. Club worthy, y'all. Even signature scent worthy. It's not too strong, which is a good thing. It's not abrasive. It's not uh, gonna slap you in the face, but it's strong. Its presence is still there. This is really nice. I'm really liking Tempo. Awesome. Very good job with Tempo. That is a banger for sure. This one, I think, is one of their uh, most recent releases. Really damn nice. Between this one and New Orleans, I think, are the new releases. Let's take a look at the next fragrance, which is Miami. And as expected, Miami has more beach type of notes. We've got lime, we've got coconut, ylang ylang, and then we also have some saffron and Caribbean sugar. So let's see what I get with this fragrance. This is what the 10 mLs look like, y'all. It's a Decent size, honestly. It's not too bad. There we go. City Rhythm, very nice bottle. Very nice bottle. Even for a 10 ml, this is a nice thick sticker. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. Does not feel cheap. And the atomizer for a uh, decanter is really nice. Really nice. Take a look at that. Okay. Not cheap stuff here. Definitely not cheap. So here we go. Miami, Miami. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see what Miami does. This is a nice ass freshy. This is a very nice freshy. I'm getting some rum vibes in here. I'm absolutely getting some sugar vibes here. The lime is here as well. There is a coconut. This is exactly what the fragrance tells you it's going to be, literally. Yeah, this is exactly like what the fragrance says. It's a lime, coconut, sugarcane, and rum. That's the most I get from this fragrance. The ambergris is here, but like I said, again, it's not anything metallic. It's just to uh, really lift the fragrance. I do get some cedar and tonka, a little bit of sweetness in that background. So the tonka and the sugar is just the right dose. This is not sickly sweet. At first, if I saw that combination, I might assume that this is sickly sweet, but no, Far from that, this is actually pretty refreshing. My mouth is watering as I'm talking about. This smells like a drink you would have on the beach. Yeah, man, this is nice. Almost pina colada vibes minus the pineapple. This is natural smelling, very natural smelling. Yo, this is nice and that's a big deal because I'll tell you what, 
I'm not that crazy about freshies. I really am not. But the freshies that really reel me in are natural smelling ones like Zerzhoff Renaissance. Let me give you some of my taste. Zerzhoff Renaissance, nice, fresh, realistic. This is really nice. The sugar has almost like a crystal sugar vibe. This reminds me of you're on the beach with a freshly made drink coconut, you've got a slice of lime on there, and then on the rim of the cup, you got those sugar crystals. This is nice. This is very naturalistic. So this was City Rhythm Miami. Wow, so far, so far, I have to say, these are really quality stuff, really quality stuff. You can tell, you can tell. I personally, whenever I do these first impressions, I know right off the bat, is this company using quality? or is it just a bunch of hoopla? This is definitely quality stuff. Let's get into the next fragrance, which is known as City Rhythm Manhattan. The notes of Manhattan, bergamot, cinnamon, and then there is also tobacco in here, vanilla and cedar wood. All right, let's check this one out. And you know what? I wanna do this one on skin. This is actually really nice. So let's take a look here. Here we go. Nice sheen there. Charlie Sheen. Oh, 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 this is taking me a second. Not for a bad reason. This is nice. This is really nice. There's a uh, natural, pungent tobacco leaf here in a good way. Think of a really rich and saturated long tobacco leaf. I'm talking about the natural. This, I'm gonna interrupt myself right there because these smell very natural. So that's what I'm gonna go back to saying is that this is a very natural tobacco leaf, the big tobacco leaves that you uh, just picked from the soil. There's still some remnants of soil vibes here, a little bit of soil. And I think that's coming from that incense. The bergamot and cinnamon are still here as well. The cinnamon doesn't take it in the direction of too spicy. It's just there, it's perfect. The bergamot did open up. It gave it like a nice kick in the opening, but it's gone very quickly. And that cedar wood is giving it a nice bright woody vibe. So this is really, really nice. What I get is a nice fresh, super fresh, still wet tobacco leaf, the big old tobacco leaf. There's a little bit of soil that's still on there and that's coming from that incense vibe. There is a hint of sweetness, almost like a cigar sweetness from that vanilla. You get a haze of cinnamon, it's nothing too much. And then the bright woodsy feel from that cedar wood. This is my favorite. This is my favorite, but it's the most niche, I should say. So be careful. This is gonna be one that's either love or hate. But the one that I think is going to please the masses, Tempo. Tempo is really, really nice. Miami, for those of you that live in the warmer climates, I think is a must-have. Miami is a must-have. Very naturalistic smelling, nice cocktail with some lime and sugar and coconut. The best, the best you can get in these types of fragrances. I know a lot of fragrances that do the coconut vibe do it in not so much of a natural way. And it ends up just smelling like sunscreen. This does not smell like sunscreen, y'all. This actually smells like coconut. So I have been looking for an actual coconut fragrance. And for the longest, I just chalked it up to, that's what it smells like is suntan lotion. But this has honestly redeemed that note for me because this smells like an actual coconut note. So Miami, A+, plus. this is genuine. Tempo. Tempo is, I think, a perfect alternative for John Paul Gaultier's Ultramall. Something new, something stronger, something dirtier in a good way, in a sexy way, something that really is refreshing and rejuvenating. I think this is really nice. And I personally think that this DNA is signature scent worthy. Honestly, it's just, this is like a utility knife. It's gonna be very versatile. And lastly, the most unique, and I think the one that is really gonna make you stand aside from the crowd, this is an older vibe type of fragrance, is Manhattan. Manhattan smells like a cigar shop, a high-end, suits only cigar shop. That's what this smells like. All three of these fragrances are awesome. Niles, awesome fragrances. For those of you who've never heard of City Rhythm, hopefully this video helps you and directs you in that direction. Sample first, see for yourself. These are high quality, naturalistic smelling fragrances. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video half as much as I did making it. And until next time, peace.